Hey guys, today I'm gonna cover Hanumatong Guardian Raid. I will only cover the major patterns, and you can check out the other patterns in the play video which is in the description. Then let's get started. For the battle items, the meta in KR is F, P, P, D. Number 1 Flare, Number 2 Pheromone, Number 3 Pheromone, and Number 4 Destruction Bomb. All the players just have to throw only one time. Whenever you hit the boss, you gain buff stacks that can reach up to 40. If I roughly tell you what it does, it increases attack, crit rate, and reduces cooldown. The more you get the stacks, the higher amount of buff you get as well. The buff lasts for 10 seconds, and you can renew it by keep on landing the hits. Also, whenever you get hit by the boss, you lose some of the buff stacks. So you should not get hit by any patterns if you want to maintain this tremendous buff. This boss has 4 phases in total. Phase 1 When you take his HP down to a certain point, then he will stomp the ground which is able to counter. If you succeed a counter, then you have to destroy his armor. The destruction rate is really low, so no one have to throw the destruction bomb at this moment. The destruction check happens 3 times until the raid ends. And every time you destroy his armor, then all the players get attack speed, movement speed increase, and the cooldown reduction buff as well. This buff lasts until the raid ends. When you keep on attacking him afterward, the boss will request a stagger check. Stagger him and you will have free DPS time for a few seconds. Then he will become invincible. This is when number 2 throws the first pheromone. If you do not use the pheromone, then the buff duration will run out and you will lose all the stacks. When he comes back, then phase 2 begins. By the way, even if you fail the counter or destruction in the first pattern, you can still check his destruction after the stagger check. Phase 2 When you take his HP down to a certain point, he will raise both of his hands for a spirit bomb. No one should attack during this pattern since he will land a bomb as a retaliation. If no one attacks, then you can counter him after a few seconds. If you succeed a counter, then the second destruction check happens. This is when number 4 throws his destruction bomb. When you keep on attacking him afterward, the boss will request stagger check and counter. If you succeed a counter, then you will have some free DPS time until he becomes invincible again. This is when number 3 throws his pheromone. If you fail the counter or destruction in the spirit bomb pattern, then his next pattern will not be stagger and counter pattern. He will AoE attack either with frost or blaze that crosses the field. You also have to do the stagger check while dodging the AoE attacks. These attacks do massive damage, and squishy classes will mostly get one-shotted. If you succeed the stagger, then you will be able to counter him which leads to the destruction check. Since this AoE pattern is dangerous, number 4 throws his destruction bomb here. Phase 3 When you take his HP down to a certain point, he will try to grab someone in the front. One player has to be grabbed and the other three should come to the front to counter him after the pounding. If you succeed, the third destruction check happens. If you fail the counter, then the person who is grabbed will most likely die. When you keep on attacking him afterward, the boss will swing his arms three times and request counter. If you succeed a counter, then you will have some free DPS time, and he will phase to the last phase, phase 4. If you fail the counter or destruction in the grab pattern, or if no one is caught, then his next pattern will not be the 3 times arm swing. He will swing the front 5 times with either blaze or frost AoE attacks and request counter. Dodge all the attacks and stand by in front of him by the time the 5th swing happens. Then you can do the 3rd destruction and he will phase to phase 4. If even one destruction failed up to this point, he will do massive AoE attack that most likely kills the players nearby right before phase 4 happens. Phase 4 At the start, you will be immobilized with all the buff stacks gone. Then he will bind the players with bleed damage. You will have to press the spacebar as fast as possible to escape from it. During the combat, you can still stack the buff by landing hits on the boss, but you will lose it when you get hit by him. The boss periodically uses two major patterns. He will instantly grab where the player is. If someone gets grabbed, then other people have to stagger the boss to free him. If multiple players get grabbed, then the stagger check will be hard and the people who were grabbed will most likely die. The other pattern. 
He will summon a circle on the field, and the air will attack the whole field. Players have to go into the circle to avoid the attacks. The circle moves randomly, so you will have to chase it until the pattern ends. Well guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and hit the sub if you liked it. Then see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.